date. What are you rushing to do? If you can't do it with excellence, don't do it. Love, you, you got to do it right. Because it's, it's going to cost you a lot of money to undo all that. And, and we, we have to unlearn that. You know, we trying to look good. I'm not saying that we can't look good and, and look our best. And, but people do not share with you everything that they're going through, what money they spend, what money, what bills they can't pay. But they're going to show you that new car. They're yep. going to show you this. They're going to show you the money. They're going to show you the watch. They're going to show you everything. They're going to show you every party dress. They're going to show you every outfit. They're going to show you that they bad every day, baby. And they, you know, they're better than you. They might even say it in their captions that they better than, you know, these bees and all of that. I'm telling you, it's bullshit. Yep. Totally is. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. So whatever you see and a couple goals and this goals, no, relationships are difficult. It takes work, it takes God, it takes compromise, it takes forgiveness, it takes kindness, all of that. I'm a living testimony, you know, forgiveness, love, and, and you just got to add God to everything you do, and it'll come. The love will come. Yep. The person that you want in your life that's going to treat you the way that you're supposed to be treated, the man that's going to speak to you with love, the man that's going to support your business, not just, you know, saying it. Oh, that's good. I'm, I'm proud of you. I need to see you. Know? It. Not just, I'm proud of you. You got to be proud of yourself. Yep. You cannot be over here wishing or wanting a man to support you or go hard for you or do something for you if you're not doing it yourself. Yep. You set the bar. You set the bar on everything you do. Then God is going to put the person in your life that's going to either match support, fill you in ways. You know how many successful women I know that their husbands don't, aren't as successful? Because successful men don't give a damn if you're successful. True. Successful men have money already, okay? Yep. They're not looking for an alpha female necessarily. I just happen to be one, okay? Successful men are not looking for your money. Men that don't have money, like some of them, or, or not as successful as this woman, would like this kind of woman to have the lifestyle. You understand? They prey on women too. Can you not drink, please? Thanks. <laughs> so, you understand? They don't, you have to understand that that's not what's gonna happen. So, so many times there are amazing successful women and their husbands or their counterparts or the significant others are not as successful and True. it's okay. It's okay, because you know what he adds to her life? Do you know what kind of back rubs she gets? And the, oh my God, baby, tell me about your day. Decompose, decompress with me. Let me pour, you are so beautiful with that bonnet on. You, you, you understand, like there's some things that he can say to her mm -hmm. that that man, that so-called man with money, won't even think about. You understand? Because he's busy too, or he's making money. So that, I'm just saying, don't just look for the type of man. Your, your type has gotten you how, how far now, right? You want to know? No, you don't have to answer that. I'm just saying a lot of people have types. And their, their type is not bringing anything into their life. True. And non type their type has done nothing but be toxic. There's, a, there's a women I know that have a type. And those guys, you know, are not necessarily the best things for them, right? But so sometimes you have to just open up and, and be open to love in different ways. True. You know and it's nobody's business. Stop posting the guy that you're dating. And the guy that you're starting to date is going to have 10 other, 15 other girls that he dated before and their cousins and their family. Everybody's going to have something to say. That is your courtship time. That is time for you to get to know this person. And, and, and you guys pour into each other privately. Everything ain't for social media. I don't care how transparent you want to be with social media. That is not their business. This right here, I don't care how great you are in business. We all need to be loved. And to not just love, but love properly, passionately, kindly. True. All of that. That's so important because let me tell you something. I am 10, I, I'm, an, I'm a phenomenal businesswoman, okay? I'm a shrewd businesswoman. But I am 10 times that woman when I am loved properly. 
it really makes a difference. But you have to be okay getting to that point where you eat by yourself. True. So you have to get to that point where, you know, I'm okay to take that flight by myself. I don't need a gang of chicks that you're going to end up falling out with anyway because they're not going to be as successful as you because you're paying for everything. Now you're beefing about everything. Now you're posting about everything. Now you're subbing people that you're on a trip with. Like, I see this. Like, what's going on, guys? Learn to love you. Learn to love you. Learn to love that. And then that right person, those right friends, those people will love you, love on you, and love you properly. True. And everything you do will be done in excellence, even the way that you love somebody. And you even know? love yourself. Mm -hmm. So remember, you set the bar. Yep. So don't tell me what kind of man you want, or what he got to have. Okay. What do you have? What part did you set? Yep. You understand? Men men have a lot of options. They they especially in well, where do you live now? Are you in Atlanta or are you in Detroit? I'm in Atlanta. Okay, honey. Can I start there? I, I'm gonna just say a prayer. If I had holy water, I'd throw it on my phone for y'all. My sister's in Atlanta. <laughs> it's beyond listen, fifteen years ago, it was slim pickings. When you remove the married men, when you remove everything else. Yeah. I don't go into that okay when you remove everything else you have back then it was like 10 to 1 10, ten, women, ten single women to one straight man that was not married or in a relationship you understand what i'm saying like it was it was slim pickings back then i can't imagine with the influx of people that moved to atlanta a lot which is the mecca of everything yep you know it's it's hard so you might want to not date in atlanta I suggest you don't. Maybe I should come to Miami. Okay, I'm not saying it's better here either. <laughs> okay. so, <laughs> I'm just saying it's okay to talk to somebody in Arizona. Yeah. A big city doesn't necessarily mean, you know, that it's got better. So, you know what I'm saying? Or, or a guy in that tucked away town in, in Virginia or, or North Carolina might be your husband. The, so what is some dating advice that you can give me? And then we go. Then we go. I'm, I'm gonna let you go. I promise. What What is some dating advice? That could give me others. I can tell you what I what's what I'm gonna tell you what you shouldn't do. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you what you should do. Yep. Um. Women in business, mm -hmm. especially young women like you, mm -hmm. or, or I wouldn't even say young women because just women. Period. Um. When you meet somebody, a lot of time women, by speaking what they don't want or telling that guy what they're looking for, because now you done told dummy what he should be acting like. So he's gonna trick, you understand? Don't tell Don't him what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Just be yourself, let him be. Don't, don't, I don't want you to talk about what you're looking for. Because mm -hmm. he's going to 